soon as you click that button. I click that button. You're awesome, man. So anyway, what we're going to do is going to get right into, um, the, there's a lot of material that we're going to be covering today. And uh, I can tell you that if you've not been to one of these broadcasts, they go pretty quick. Um, they, we never seem to uh, have enough time to get them all of it done, but we'll get as much as we can. They were at one time called 25 minutes on how to use blab, no blabus interrupt us. Um, but what we're doing now is we're combining the two. We did a, we did a, uh, a blab that was about, um, that was basically about hosting too. That was at four o'clock, but we have combined the two and we're going to do an hour of that. It'll take about 15 minutes for one section, about 15 minutes for the other. And then we're going to get into questions. And some of the questions I know that's going to be on people's minds is going to be about the Facebook embedding. So without any further ado, uh, this blab is to help uh, people use blab. Um, it's uh, fast paced with a clear goal. We want to give you confidence to use it. Um, we want to, uh, we don't answer any questions from the audience. Uh, as a matter of fact, we lock this seat. We don't answer any questions in, uh, uh, from the audience until we've gotten through the material, because a lot of times we're going to answer the question that you might have during the, um, the blab, uh, we show you how to use blab and that's, that's pretty much it. But, um, uh, and now we're going to show you a little bit about hosting it. And we asked you to hold all questions to end and that you join the blab when there's an open seat. Um, the Circadians are a concept community. Our community isn't built around individuals. We live, work, and thrive in a guru-free zone. Everybody is equal. Everyone matters. And everyone has their own special gift. The sum of those gifts is greater than the individual. And that's what you see a lot of time in the uh, clinics that we have at 9 o'clock in the morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We create event-driven outcome oriented business building platforms. And what we mean by that is that like in this one, the event is the blab uh, outcome oriented, meaning at the end of this, we want you to feel comfortable with how to use blab and um, that hopefully you'll learn a little bit about the, how to host a blab. And then today I'm sure we're going to have some questions about embedding the blab into a Facebook page. If you have any questions, you can send it to you matter at the circadians.com. Hello, Rebecca and Dan. Oh, Dan Cullenberg, man. That's and Kevin Scullion. This is a good, good crowd here. Um, the rules of Blab. Blab doesn't really have any rules, but the Blab team has created some agreements that they want the community to go by. Uh, those are to respect each other, honor the viewer's time, let others talk, don't be an awful person to be around, argue the point, not the person. And the host sets the rules to the party. Hello, Nazim. And there's, there was a perfect example of that yesterday um, about arguing the point, not the person. Somebody made a statement uh, in one of the blabs and they directed it towards somebody and called them a name. And that's just not going to get anybody anywhere. So that's not arguing the point. That is arguing and just trying to argue for argument's sake, I guess. First things first, we want to uh, thank Roxanne Davenport, um, Robert Stern, uh, Eileen Smith, Mark Burris, uh, for their help and their tutorials and insights have been invaluable. We suggest that you follow them. Uh, if you can put the link, I can't see the links. There you did. Oh, Learn Blab co-host. You all also want to put Learn Blab. Yes. If you go to, I'll explain these links, learnblab.com slash learnblab. You can go there and download this document and the document that Ron will be using when he does the hosting part. Um, there'll be a link up there for this one and a link one right below it because we haven't had a chance to combine them yet. And then the, uh, the, did it happen at circadians? I don't know what that's talking about. Learnblab.com co-host is about um, a co-host program that we, he, we have so that you can come in and learn how to, how to do the co-host rather than, than being all on your own. That's part of what we do in the circadians at that nine o'clock um, at that nine o'clock clinic. Ron and Bill and um, Lindsay and Nina and everybody's kind of gone through that stuff so that, that at any at any time somebody can take over, you know, my functions or Ron's functions and never skip a beat. Over on the left hand side, you'll see a little blue bird. If you click that bird, you're going to see a dialogue box. It says tell a little bird. Now put your mouse and type the circadians or whatever. You can change that that tweet to match what you want it to say just a little bit. And then when you click that, it tells all your followers. And the reason that you want to do that is because 
now would be the time to get people in. That's right. She, yeah. yeah. Um, the next, I, I see your, your question down there now, uh, Nazim. The next thing to do is to click on any of the people in the squares. Like if you look at Ron right now, you're going to see some bubbles coming up. And those bubbles, those little circles are what's called prompts. And that means that Ron has said something. That's the way that you tell somebody that I agree with what you said, or I think you're a nice person, or that you like the tie that they're wearing, or anything like that. You know, it's just a way to kind of give the, the people a little bit of, uh, of they call props. They used to call them uh, feels, but the expression, I think it was Mia Voss called it uh, filling everybody up, that she was filling everybody up and that she was getting filled up. So I think they changed that to props right after that. I, um, I give Stan props because it's in my contract. Yeah. If I, he if he doesn't give me any props, his paycheck goes down. And it's, it's hard to deduct anything from zero. Um, Billy, nothing from nothing, Billy Preston. Um, anyway, props do not accumulate on a profile. And um, you're you're welcome, Olivia. They do not, uh, 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 you know, accumulate. So at the end of this blab, they're just going to go away. So there's nothing that you win or anything like that by giving props. And you can't take them to the bank and you cannot use them to pay for coffee at the Waffle House or whatever your local coffee place is. So they're but they are nice to have um, your blab profile matches your pro your Twitter profile, but they don't have to. Uh, you can change it to better suit the message that you want to convey on Blab. Uh, this is a good idea because, you know, sometimes you want to, a lot of times people use their business or their logo for a, in Blab when like, we know Casa Casey, which is Nazim. We know him, he's using his logo. So we know him from that. But if you don't know who he is, you might not follow him because it's a, a logo. People are more likely to follow a image than they are a, a logo. Sometimes he's got a pretty good brand though. So they, they follow that brand anyway. Okay. On the top right hand side of your is no longer where it's at. What, so what you'll do, I'm going to have to expand the window so I can see these again. And if you'll look at the top, uh, a bar up there and, and find your name or find your picture, there's going to be a drop down that comes down there. And in that drop down, is the information about your bio so that people can determine whether or not, you know, they want to follow you or not. That, that one three second thing is where most people make their decision on it. I'm looking at Marco Pacini. I'm not sure I pronounced that right. A day without learning is not a day. He's a founder and a speaker, fellow LPI. I don't know what that means. Part of, I'm going to click on his link because that's good. He's part of uh, something learning now TV. So I am going to follow him because just because of his um, of his bio. So you would go be able to go across the top and look and see what people do and decide whether to follow them or not, just based off of their bio and whether or not they have links. He had a link in his Marco is like. For me, he's about the six one over, but, you know, it's Marco Fasini and he has a link, which is pretty important without the link. I might not have followed him. So, so those are good things to have. Um, so the way that you, you edit that in that drop down menu, in that drop down, you're going to see your name and click on your name. And when you click on your name, it's going to take you to your profile page. Don't click on your profile. Just click on the settings. And when you click on the settings, you're going to see these fields. The first field is going to be your full name. The second, which is you could change that to your business if you wanted to. The second one is your email, which, you know, appears to be uh, uh, linked to your Twitter profile. So you don't really want to change that. And then the bio in the bio is where I found that stuff about uh, Marco. And that's where you can type if you type in HTTP. If you just put a website, I don't think you have to use HTTP. I'm not sure. I don't remember that off the top of my head. I think it works with or without the HTTP. Um, and, but that, that's how you would put a link into your website there, but that's how you would change that so that people would, you know, you would put something in there that, that might interest people. Um, there's also a link there that says image. And when you choose that file and you, it'll, it'll browse your hard drive, you'll go to your drive and you will pick the file that you want to upload to your profile. And when you upload that to the profile, that's it. So if you, that's also the one that is used when you create your blab. 
like if you schedule a blam, that's the photo that's used there. So if you um, if you want to use your business, you know, logo, that's where you would put it. The um, I know that I gave this to Nazim the other day. So if he's still here, if he can give the if he can give the dimensions, uh, if you want to put a logo there that if you want to put your logo there and you want to put some more information in that that field, I think it's 370. I'm working off the top of my head. Does anybody remember that? Is it like 307 times 110? If anybody can find that, that'd be great. I thought 135 I was one of the numbers in there. I'm not sure. <clears throat> well, I'll find it when I, um, I'll find it. Hi, Roxanne. I'll find it and then, and then post it while you're doing the hosting uh, thing. I'll, I'll tell them what that, what that is, but, or what the sizes of that can be. Cause you could actually have like a logo with more about, you know, what your blab is going to be about. Um, Let's see. You can turn off notifications there so that you can get notifications when your friends go on or offline uh, or come into a blab or start a blab. Uh, you can control your notifications from there. Hey, Dutch. Other neat things you can do on your profile page is your profile shows the number of days you've been on blab. So if somebody is um, is talking about back in the day and you click on their profile and go over there and find out that you've been that they've been here for you know 10 days, that's not back in the day. And back in the day is further back than, than what I do. 318 by 170. Hey, thanks, Royal. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I really do. Royal Ferris has put down the dimensions for that, um, um, for the, uh, the uh, image over there. I, I'm pretty sure that was right. Um, if you've already hosted some blabs, uh, they'll be viewable on, on your page under replay, unless you click a little eye there and turn them off and make them private. Um, you can go to anybody's profile and see what the replays are. Uh, so you can watch this again later. Um, let's see what else on that page. You can see a list of your followers and who is who they are following or who you are following on your profile page. If you look at your followers profiles, you can see if the follow is mutual. It's kind of like the Twitter thing. You can kind of look to see if they're following you and if you're following them. You can't see that if you look at it from your follow from who you're following. You have to go to that tab of uh, to see, you know, uh, at your to look at your followers. Also, there's a thing there for scheduled tag. You'll see replays. You'll see scheduled. You'll see days on. There's a lot of information on somebody's uh, profile there. How you can participate over on the right hand side. You can see 218 by 175. Um, I'm going to again, I'm going to look at that, too, because I used I've used those the other days. And I, I think that I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'll look at, at what what uh, dimension I use, but how you can participate. Each blab has four blabbers, including the host. The host sits in the top left square and the host determines how many seats will be open. Right now, we've got the seats locked because we're going to take questions at the end because we get through the materials as quick as we can. Um, the, the host determines how many seats will be open. But over on the right hand side, you'll see a, a comment stream. And on the comment stream, you'll see, like Ron Snayberger says, Stan used 318 by 170. Um, yeah, so there's like five pixels of difference between what we used. And I probably would experiment with that a little bit now. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to roll over my mouse and a little star comes up. When I roll over my mouse and I click on that star, you'll see a number go there. So go ahead and click there. And it'll, it'll what it'll do is say, I agree with or, or, or acknowledge that he said this. I'm going to click on Potty's chap and I'm going to click on Ron Ferris up there too. And now I'm also going to go to Ron because, it, and there's a little arrow there when you roll over that his comment, that little arrow automatically posts the user's name back into the comment stream down at the bottom. So I can say, thanks. And then he gets a direct message that, or, 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 or it posts that message for him immediately. One of the neat things about that is that up at the top of the stream, you'll see all messages and then you'll see mentions. If you click on mentions, you'll see anything that somebody's posted in there that mentions you. So you can go back after the show or after the blab and take a look at um, it, to take a look to see you know who has mentioned you. Nobody loves me, so nobody's mentioned me so far, but that's I can, I'm OK with it. Um, let's see if you have a question. Hey, Roxanne, uh, if you have a question, um, then, Ron, if you have a question, <laughs> if you have a question, you type Q in the box and it shows a question. 
Uh, hey, I've been man I've been mentioned now. If you type front slash Q and hit enter, it comes up with question like that. And what that does is kind of brings that to the uh, that brings it to the attention of the host because there's a lot going on. We we use a co wrangler and things like that. What we call them, especially since the question there used to be a a, a, a column up there for questions and um, notice I didn't even say back in the day. It just not very long ago, they had a, a column there for, for questions less than two weeks ago. They say they're going to, they're going to, um, they're going to um, bring that, you know, bring that back. And I hope they do, because again, you can go over there and you can look at the questions and it makes it mu much easier to address those. Um, I'll wake up in a minute, Stan. It's just, you know, I don't, for today, it's just uh, early for me. I haven't noticed any difference, Ryan. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, like gray reply star, and then the joining blab is very easy. There'll be a join uh, right now. It's locked, but when we open it up, there'll be a thing down there that I, you know it actually is probably going to say call in now, isn't it, Ron? Because when we we noticed when we came in a while ago, yeah, that it said um, it didn't say join. It said call in, and there are. I'm going to save this for. Um, I'm going to save this for. Bill, is Bill here? Um, Bill, I Graham. He was. I, Bill Graham. I saw him was check there, in. Yeah. I'm going to save the I'm going to save the light and dark thing for Bill, because you know he 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 really kind of showed that to me how that worked, and I appreciate it. He's one of the circadians, and that's a good thing. So, um, I also um, am done with my portion of it because I'm I want to go over and check while while you're while we're doing this, I'm going to go over and check make sure those Facebook posts and things are working over there. And um, I will mute myself, Ron. And if somebody have, has anybody else got the uh, how do you embed Blam in Facebook? We're going to get to that after he does the hosting. We're going to take questions. I will say this every morning at nine o'clock, the circadians are it's a community and uh, it's a small community. Just started about a month and a half ago. But we have a um, we have a, a, a hangout on air every morning at nine o'clock and we can screen share. And this morning they saw how to, the, the circadians, we did how to create the image using snippet tool to embed in, to put into uh, Canva and then to download that to create the image for a, a uh, Facebook post and then how to use the magic resize on Canva to create the size for Google plus and uh, which also has Instagram, Twitter and all these other things in there. And then, um, how to embed it and after this show how to update that so that all your links and everything don't don't break on you so we're kind of i want to go and make sure while he's doing this that um that those links are actually working right now so i'm going to um i am going to um mute myself and i'm going to quit looking at all the little notifications that are coming up over here because you know how that is i it's like a i'm like a Butterfly comes through there and I I go take a look at it. So I am going to get off right now and turn this over to Ron. How are you? I'm doing fine. I'm going to get through this real quick because I know most people are here because of the way you posted the blab today about embedding on Facebook. So I'm going to go right to the beginning of the blab.im page and what you'll see there, you'll see... Uh, uh, on air, you'll see scheduled shows, you will see replays. To the left, you'll see a column with topics. If you clip on, click on one of those topics, it'll bring up the blabs that correspond to those topics. If you go over to the right, you'll see schedule a, or, um, yeah, schedule a blab or start a new blab, I'm sorry. Uh, if you click on that, it'll bring up a drop down box and at the top, it says start a new blab. And then underneath that, it has uh, your profile settings and log out like Stan went over. When you click on start a new blab, a black box will come up. That At the top, it says host a blab. And there'll be a line there where you can type in your topic. When you start typing in your topic or the title of your blab, to the right, you'll see a uh, numbers will pop up and it'll say 80 of 80 at the beginning. And as you type, it'll say 60 of 80, you know, it'll, it'll give you a countdown 
uh, as to how many you're using to get up to 80. If you go over 80, you'll have to back out some or change the title to fit in that 80 uh, amount that you that you can use. Uh, when you get your title typed in, um, the next box that will pop up is uh, tags that you can uh, associate with your with your blab. You're allowed to pick three of them, and uh, when you do want to go live, they become available. So you pick the 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 title, the tags that correspond to what your your blab is going to be about. Then when you pick the three uh, tags, at the bottom of that, you'll see when do you want to go live. You can start now or you can click in the future. If you start, if you click now, it's going to start right away and your blab will start. And maybe you notified people that this is going to be immediate and uh, they'll be able to see, okay, he started the blab and, and they're going to join in. If you click in the future, another box will pop up. It'll have a clock there. You type in the time that you want your blab to start. Make sure you click the right uh, of the clock there, which says AM or PM, um, because the clock will show up at the current your current time of day. If it's PM and you want your blab to start in the AM, make sure you put it on AM. Uh, below that, you can click tomorrow if you want it to start tomorrow, or you can click a day in the future. Once you do that, you can go to the bottom and you can click on the box there and that will say schedule blab. And when you click schedule blab, a box will come up with a countdown clock, uh, whether it be days, hours, minutes, and seconds. It'll have the title to your blab and the picture, however you set it up. And that's uh, will get posted on Blab uh, as a scheduled event, and people can find that and then go to it. Uh, once you start a Blab, you have to join, and uh, you will see a, a screen that will pop up, and uh, it'll be all black because that's the new color when they since they made the changes. I'm I'm not even go go into the, the, the that it's since they made the changes because that's the way it is now. It's all black. <laughs> On the top left is an edit button. If you want to change the topic, uh, you can do that. It's a, it's a pencil and, a, and like a little pad there, and you can change the topic if you wish to. The record button is a big red button now, and when you start record, you will see a pause button. When you stop recording, that button goes back to resume recording. So you can stop and record, stop and start your recording during your blab session if you want to. Uh, the tell a little bird is now in a black box with the blue bird. You click on it when you want to send that out to your followers. Now you're in the blab and you can lock the, uh, the other seat if you want to. And when you click the lock button, a padlock will come up that's closed and nobody can, can join at that time. Uh, when people join, you'll see a screen uh, and their name will pop up. There'll either be a, a green check mark or a red X. If you click on the check mark, you're going to allow them into the blab. If you click the X, you're not going to allow them in. And sometimes you know somebody who might be disruptive. You're just not going to let them in the blab. And that's your choice. Uh You'll see it, their image when it when they come in, and they'll they can talk. And but here's the neat thing that a host can do: he can make any person that comes into the blab a co-host. Uh, when you click on their that person's name, um, a box will pop up, and it'll give their information, their bio information. But in the in the upper left, there'll be a, a round circle with an H and a plus sign. When you click on that, you made them a co-host. And all they have to do is refresh to come back. They'll leave for a while, come back in, and they can join back in. And uh, and then and where there's a G by their name before, there will now be an H, and they are co-host. They have the same abilities as the host does. Uh, they can uh, block people. They can uh, delete comments if they want. Uh, they can open and close seats. 
The only thing they can't do is keep the hose from getting back in. They can X them out, but the hose can get back in. The host is the only one that can permanently block somebody from the from the blab. Um, oh, Stan pretty much covered the comments. One of the things as a host or a co-host, when uh, he, when you roll over somebody's name in the comment stream, to the right you'll see a triangle with an X and. Uh, uh, I don't know if Stan covered it. I think he did. But as a co-host or host, you if you don't like the comment, you can click on that X and it'll delete the comment from the comment stream. Um, I would say, I would add to that, Ron. I would say it's not a matter of whether you like the comment or not, but if it's inappropriate or something like that, you know. That's true. Yeah, yeah, because that's because a lot of people say things that we don't like, <laughs> but it's more like, if it's an inappropriate comment or it's just something that you don't want to have in your blabs because they, they are yours. So you can do what you want to with them. Yeah. Um, but you can block them. Uh, you know, the, the, the other thing is, you know, um, you know, if you type in a comment and you don't like it, you can delete it, which is good. Uh, Stan pretty much covered everything as, as far as everything else um, with the, with the people, uh, the numbers at the top, he went over that. Um I am, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to end it right there uh, because we have so much that we want to get covered. And uh, Bill, Bill Graham, I'm going to unlock the seat. Bill Graham, do you want to come in and tell everybody about the light and the dark? Because I say white and black. Oh, there he is. I'll let him in. Bill is from Belize, by the way. He is retired. He's an expatriate from Canada. And if Bill can't get in, it could be that he's having a problem with his connection. There he is. Hi, Bill. Good morning, guys. How are you? Tell everybody about the light in the dark. I'd love to, but can I, uh, can I uh, propose first a Blab trivia question? This is something uh, I found out on the weekend, and I may be the only guy in the world who didn't know this. <laughs> uh, is, are you going to play Stomp Stan again? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. But my Blab <laughs> trivia question is, uh, the Blab logo is an owl. Does anybody know the name of the owl and how it got its name? Anyway, I'm going to leave that with you. That's and a great I'm going to mention the uh, comment stream, how last week they turned it from a, a white background to dark lettering. And uh, I know for me, I prefer the old way. So if you prefer the old way, and you come in and it's dark, you can type in forward slash light and the background will change. And if you're on the white dark ground and you would like it dark, type in forward slash dark and it will change to the dark background. And the other thing I like to mention that we kind of stumbled upon last week was uh, the comment stream. If you uh, shrink down your window or minimize it, I think it's called, to about half the size widthwise. Uh, the comment stream will move from the right to underneath the blab. And for some people, that's a, a little easier to follow. I know I prefer that. And uh, so anyway, that's another thing you can do. And the third thing I wanted to mention was the pictures on the right. Uh, the pictures are great, um, but for me, my glasses are getting old. Um, I find them hard to see. But if you click on those pictures, they will open in a new window and go large. And the only thing I would caution you about is that we also found out that GIFs are not, uh, GIFs are not necessarily something you want to do on Blabs. Animated GIFs. Animated GIFs. GIFs are okay, but what? animated GIFs, Roxanne, who's in the thing, can, you know, if you want to, you know, expound on that, Bill, that's great. Well, what, what we found last week, um, you know, after a bit of research and talking to Roxanne, who was good enough to come on the show and explain it a bit, is that sometimes these flashing gifts uh, can cause people problems, in particular uh, people that uh, suffer from epilepsy. Um, this can trigger seizures. So we never know who's out there with these conditions, and I think it's kind of, once you know, it's kind of your responsibility to, uh, you know, to make sure we don't hurt anyone. We're here to help, right? Mm -hmm. And that's basically all I got. You guys, uh, you guys covered it great. 
Yeah, I will address one thing is that um, I remember reading about the um, owl, but that that kind of stuff, what the name was, that kind of stuff doesn't stick in my head because <laughs> because because it's it's not it's not something I'm going to have to. You know, I was hoping I wouldn't be tested on later. <laughs> you yeah. know, but obviously you brought it, you brought a test up about it, but I don't, that kind of stuff kind of, I, I, I try to keep my head with other things that are great. I like actually, I do actually like the trivia question. I like that part of it. And I like the fact that you mentioned, I'm going to show them something about when you narrow down what he's talking about, when you narrow down the, um, the screen, Hey Roxanne, is that when you narrow down the screen, if you'll notice, like right now I'm looking at Bill, right? So it looks like I'm always looking down. That's because I have the screen expanded and I'm looking at at, at Bill. But at, when you compress it like that, it moves everything up to the top so that when I move this up underneath my camera, which sits on the top of my monitor, it looks more engaging. It looks like I'm looking more at you. And... The other thing is, when you look at that, now you see the reflection on my glasses, right? There are some special glasses that you can buy, but if I clap, if I tick, put in dark, it goes away a little bit. You can also um, tilt the the, uh, the monitor a little bit, and, and that'll take some of the glare away. How do you compress? I don't understand the question, but type oh, probably on SQ. Like that, and it'll be a, it'll come up as a question. Um, She's probably asking how to minimize. The uh, window. Yeah, what you do is like you you on on the, you know you've got a, a minimize. You want to tell them? Why don't you tell her, Bill? Um, yeah, I believe minimize is the well. I don't know if minimize is the proper term or if that's a breakout window or what it is. But if you go to the very top right hand corner, um, you have an X and you have two little pages overlapped and you have the little horizontal. Uh, bar that actually minimizes. Uh, if you go to the middle one where the pages overlap and you click on that, you'll be able to drag the corners or the sides in on, on the window that you're looking at the blab in. And once you get down to about 50%, uh, you'll notice that the column on the left will go away and the comment stream on the right will go underneath. Great. And now I guess we're going to ask Roxanne. Hi, Roxanne. You want to expound a little bit on that? And who, who's going to come in from the circadians next? I'll drop you. Bill, thanks, man. But be ready to come back in when they got all these questions here in a minute. Hey, Roxanne, hey. you want to talk a little bit about that while the next circadian comes in? All right. Well, yes, I do have epilepsy and mine's different. It's not as bad. Um, just flashing lights, horrible. I have to look away or I have to cover my eyes or if they're up on the other side, I have to cover them up. Um, and oh, I hate them when they're, whenever I have to look at the schedule, um, they either can cause a seizure or they can cause a migraine. It just like that, it's horrible. So thank y'all for saying, please don't do that. Um, it's just, thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, she was, she was, who she's our go-to person on a lot of questions on Blab. And that was a question because we knew, we were familiar with, you know, a lot about her. And she was kind enough to tell us that, you know, our viewpoint is if it hurts one person, we just don't want to do it. And then Josh Mills, um, I'm going to answer that question. Is that if you, you don't have to do that, it still works. The question mark still works. But when you get a room that's got a lot of questions flowing through it, you'll never see that question, like ever, uh, especially since they've taken the question. There used to be a third column over there where you could click on questions and see it, but that's not there anymore. But if you wanted to get notified, if you wanted to get noticed, put the cue in there. Yeah, it makes, them, it makes them stand out. You can just actually, actually, a lot of times when somebody's making a comment, they'll put a uh, something like that in there so that it's like, that draws your attention over there too. Mm -hmm. I mean, any kind of butterfly grabs my attention. Now, I want, I want to say since you can embed now mm -hmm. and um, send it to, to another page or something, I'm thinking about starting a TV page where mm -hmm. I could send it to other places because um, WordPress, where I'm going to start a lot more 
And even since I know some doctors that will come online, I'm going to. So if anybody wants to come on and talk, um, that's fine. I'm you mean, enjoying. you mean have like you're, you're so you're going to have a, a show that's going to be about that? Yeah, any kind of medical. Yeah, I love medicine. So well, let's and worked in medicine in the hospital. So let's um, do some dementia talk. Let's do what? Some dementia talk. Okay, sure. but you're going to have this is the host job to do this right here. We're going to have to stay on topic because this yeah. is not going to turn into a blab yet. Right. We're, we're turning it into one, but we're going to find out a little bit about Michelle. And then I think um, we want to get Nina? somebody else in. Thanks, mm -hmm. Roxanne. Appreciate hey, it. We're going to get, get at least 20, 20, 20 minutes of questions in. Hey, really, not Roxanne. She knows we love her to death. She does. She does. Yes, she does. Okay. What's on your mind, Michelle? Well, there was a question asked where the owl came from and what the name is. And his name is Reno, which is on air backwards. Okay. okay. And that will last about two seconds with me because that's, <laughs> but it's, it was the tip. So what, tell the, tell her, tell the lady her lovely gift that she's won here. Is Bill, did Bill mention a gift? Oh, okay, I didn't so, know anything about a gift. I was just answering a question. All right. So everybody give her some props down there. Double click on her and you'll see a lot of the little things come up there and that'll give her some props. That's her gift. What else? Tell us a little bit about you though. You got like the 30 second thing, right? I got 30 second thing. Well, I am a Facebook dementia support and awareness advocate. My mother has dementia for 16 years. And I give my time and information to help others uh, who are going through this disease. And I am a new member of the Circadians. A, a very active member, too, I might say. Okay. And so how about you? I'm, again, we're trying to get to, we got three minutes, so we have 20 minutes. I'm going to pop questions. out. You take care of yourself. What you got, Nina? Yeah. Happy Monday for everybody. I'm Nina. I'm currently in Sofia, Bulgaria. Uh, I'm part of the Circadians, and it's a very motivating group to, to get things done on your business. I'm a level three Google Plus proficient. I'm especially good on collections. I have uh, calculated that I have 200 people every day for the recent <laughs> 25 mm -hmm. days. So just a graphic I'm going to publish in a minute. And so I can help get traffic to your business. What most of all, like Stan says, strategic engagement, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I found it also, um, I like that. So join the circadians, the clinics, and you will get things faster for you. See you. Stan, we have a lot of questions over there asking about embed. So I okay, think so now we want to talk about that. Yes, that's delivering on the promise, which there were three promises made. The first promise was to get to be able to get people to be comfortable with Blab. The second one was to go over some hosting one, hosting questions. And now we're going to go over the embed thing. Now there's there has been, I think it was um, I think it was uh, Friday night. Or, or Saturday was the, was the town hall. And during the town hall, they came up with the, um, they came up with the, the new tool to be able to embed your page. And they said into it, when I saw it, it was like, they, they said they could embed it into a WordPress site. And that was kind of pretty much where they left it. I did not attend the town hall. I did watch parts of it afterwards, but you know, there's a lot of really good people that, that bring me up to date on stuff. Roxanne being one of them, I think she sent me a message that night. Said, "Did you attend a town hall?" And my kids were in town, so that's what I did. So, in the town hall, they said that you could use it in in WordPress. So I grabbed that. I went over to the code or went to the page. When you create your blab, you will go there. When you create your blab, remind me to talk about the uh, MP3. MP4 and the video at the end of it, Ryan. I, we forgot to talk about that today. Yeah, okay. But when you when you create your blab, there was a lot of things that changed about the creation, in my view. Um, yeah, that's right. They're everywhere, but you could not. Some extra steps here and there on various platforms um, is that, you know, putting it on WordPress, 
you just when you when you create your when you when you create your blab and you go to it, if it's in the future, there's going to be a little embed code down at the bottom. It says embed your code. And when all you do is copy that and put it into a your WordPress or an, an article like you would do any other iframe, because that's what really, if you know much about, if you know the technology standpoint, it's just, it's an iframe is what it is. And, and so they're, they're displaying an iframe on WordPress. Well, Facebook has the ability to create a, if you go into Facebook and go under to your settings, like, you know, this will work on, on your Facebook page. And I'm sorry, we can't do, we, we can't do uh, screen sharing. So we're going to have to talk about this from the standpoint of how it works. And you, you can take notes on it again in the, in the circadian clinic this morning, we shared screen and we went through the whole thing. Um, but when you, when you go to your Facebook page, and click on the settings, there's going to be a thing that says apps. And you're going to be looking for an app called Static HTML. And that's going to add a tab to your page. Facebook's got these, it's got tabs. The tabs used to, the, where they got their name is they, is they used to be across the top of the page. And, and well, they still are, but you could actually create, well, you can still create the small, you can still create the, the small uh, images too, which are 174 by 111 or something like that. I don't remember off the top of my head, but we, you know, in the circadian group, we kind of talk about how, how to get those, um, uh, the image sizes of those too. But you add static HTML to your page. And when you add static HTML to your page, it's going to come up and it's going to say, what's the name of, what do you want to call it? And it, the, it's going to be called welcome by default. And you're just going to change that welcome to we changed it i changed it on like seven different uh, pages that i manage i just changed it to watch our lab and then from do you do you know the live iframe embed code for facebook you know what i do i don't, I don't know whether or not that's going to be i don't know whether or not everybody be able to grab that but um I, i'm going to ask beyond 90 seconds to come in here in a second to 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 be able to talk a little bit about that but when you grab that when you grab the the uh, iframe code and you put it into the HTML, uh, static HTML page, it's really simple. It works just like WordPress. I put it on a Joomla, I put it on a Blogger, I put it on a lot of different things to see if it would work, and it literally worked on just every site. Um, I, did, I I literally put it on every site and every kind of, of of site that I could I could work on, and it worked on all of them as long as you put it within an HTML, um, some sort of an HTML code. And uh, I cannot find mine for yesterday's blab. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what that means. But so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up so that we can get to more specifics because you can open up another frame. And uh, if you guys want to, you can open up another frame, go to your Facebook page, and we'll see whether or not we can help you um, and see if we can uh, help you. I cannot find mine for yesterday's blab. You know, the embed code, I don't see. There was a couple of things that they, they apparently changed yesterday, uh, Nazim, because yesterday, whenever I embedded it into the Facebook page, you could see the comments. You could see they could subscribe. They could do all that. But if you notice this morning, it had changed and they got the little blocks up at the top for, for pending, for, for things that are in uh, scheduled blabs. It's got the little clock up there, right? And so now it does not display the, um, it code. doesn't display, yeah, the comment stream. But I checked on Facebook a while ago and it is running as, you know, advertised over there now. And you can make comments over there and you can interact with it just like you can any other, you know, uh, embedded page that, that has that you know capability but but again the the whole thing with the um well, the I'm whole getting, thing with the, i'm getting something really weird in the sense that i can't show you guys because there's no screen share but right now i have all these the images are going are doing this everything's doing like this in blab well you're you're nearly right yeah <laughs> so um what about wine? Does that have anything to do with no, it right it's now? Not, it's not <laughs> I just had to check, man. It was you in Ireland. I have to always check when we get in. No, there. because it's it's really bizarre. I have all the all the everything's going like boom, 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 boom. Really weird. 
I wish I could film. I'm probably going to film it and show it to you guys. I think it's an interim thing of, of my Chrome update or, or with the lab or whatever. Well, we can go into a we can go into a hangout and you can show me too because you can share the screen. That sounds good. I'll hangout. do that after you guys finish up. I'm here. Ah, Nina, I know what you're talking about when on screen share. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me of that. That was something we talked about in the uh, in the clinic today. The static HTML app is in Japanese. Um, what? Um, didn't they just? Didn't they say just USA so far? I, I, those two two questions. If both of you could, yeah, you know, is in Japanese. That's mine's not. Let me go over there and get it. I'll get a link to static HTML while while you entertain our guest, Ron. Well, you mentioned about MP3, MP4, and the uh, loading to YouTube. Uh, we forgot to mention it, I guess, uh, but I'll do it now. Once you are finished with your blab, if you recorded it, you will get an email uh, that says your replay is, is ready and that your download is ready. And it has the links there uh, to, to get the MP3 file or the MP4 file so you can load it to a podcast or download the video to your, your, your hard drive if you want. But you will also uh, get a, a link to load it to YouTube. And it'll load it just as it's recorded. And once it's in YouTube, then you can go into the editing features and change it. Or if you download it to another program, you can edit it before you, you can download it to, to whatever you want and then make the changes and then download it from or upload it to YouTube from there. Um, you can also get that button to click on from your profile uh, I think I'm correct on that, Stan, uh, mm -hmm. to uh, down, download it. Or I get mixed up with terms. I'm yeah, not he's, what, what it is is if you're on your profile and you go and you click on your profile and you've got something over in replay and you go over and and um, look at your replays and you click on that replay, it will upload it to uh, YouTube for you. Uh, and if it's already been uploaded, it will tell you that it's already been uploaded. That, that was my experiment. My, Experience now. What we do in the circadian group in the mornings is we talk about that Facebook has or um, YouTube has um, a list that they automatically get added to, and how do you write the rules so that it automatically gets added to the right um, uh, playlist without having to do? We, I'm not a big proponent of doing a whole lot of work. Hey, Mark, how are you? I'm doing great this morning. Thank you for having me on. Good man. So, so tell me, what were you? You know. Or do you think that getting into the live embed code is going to be because you're talking about going to, into the API or not? Or have you got another secret that I want to know? Well, first of all, just for a point of background, so you can understand my perspective as of yesterday, yesterday was day one on Blab for me. Awesome. Okay. So, um, but, uh, and I held a, a Blab with a friend and we had people jump on. It was thrilling. We, we had a great time. And then afterwards, actually just before that Blab, and then several times afterwards, I watched a a lab where a gentleman was demonstrating, um, and I understand that you guys are talking about how to find the embed code for something that you've already broadcast, whether it be the MP3 or the MP4. But this gentleman was speaking about your live blab, so that when that someone, it, we're yeah. talking about the same thing, I was live too. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I was following those steps in this gentleman's um, demonstration last night, and he created yesterday for the purpose of this um, a Facebook page called The Blab Channel, all one word, which I liked. Um, and so when I followed his steps, um, there comes a point where, you know, he's talking about what you guys are talking about with the, um, the I forget the specific app, but iframe HTML um, mm -hmm. dot tabs index or something. But I added that and you get to a point where there's the index and you've got to put the, the actual uh, iframe code in there. In the blab last night, he refers to it. I'm putting it over here. He says, as if you can go there, copy and paste it and use it as the model, then insert your specific URL for your blab channel. But I don't see where he put that code. And he I've rewatched it. it several times. I've looked up and down the comments and I'm still. Well, that, that's why you should join the circadians, man. We can, we get it done. That's what, what, that's what we're about. It's called, we call it the guru free zone GSD, which is getting stuff done. And every morning at nine o'clock, Every night morning at nine o'clock, we just get in there and get that kind of thing done through sh screen share and through ha hang out on air. But when you go to that page and it says welcome, you remember when static HTML said 
it said it had a little tab there that said that the the default tab was welcome was the name of that tab right and then down there below it it had a bunch of stuff a bunch of words and things you just cut that out and paste it right there that's it well i get that uh, uh, that's that part i got i saw the welcome i saw how you can rename the tab to mm -hmm. live on live on blab or what have you but what I don't see is where am I grabbing the iframe code? I need the iframe oh. code for blab. Okay. And he, he says it's a, he was providing it, but I couldn't see where he was providing it. Okay. If you'll give me just a second, I've got an image that um, I got an image. I think I can I can grab thanks to um, Michelle who showed me a a little application I can grab it with. I'm going to go over there and see if I can do that. If this doesn't crash or everything. But I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do that. We just haven't had a chance with um, we just haven't had a chance with everything going on to to get all of our images and stuff done yet. And and plus it like I said it changed like overnight. See I don't have anything scheduled. Hmm. Now well, I'll start a new blab and it'll be called test. And I'm gonna put it under product hunt and I'm gonna go in the future and I'm gonna say it's gonna be on October twenty. I'm going to put it way out there because I don't want people to. I'm going to schedule that. Now I'm going to run snippet, which is a screen share or a, a, a tool used to snip. Nina, about 10 minutes more. Now I'm going to save this and I'm going to save it. Wow, I'm going to save it here, and it's going to be called uh, embed example for Blab. You know, and with the question just there from um, at Roosevelt, just as I understand it, the way this gentleman was explaining it, because um, the question here is, do you have to embed each Blab, or can you embed once and future Blabs will show up? Yeah, future. No, you, you, you future Blabs won't show up. It was my understanding that when you go live, that this embed code will show your broadcast live. Did I misunderstand that? It will show that broadcast live, but if you the way you up update that is you have to update it in within that. Um, with, that was a discussion. Let me finish. Um, let me finish this. Um, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I, and I, I'm sorry it's taking a little bit long to do this, but see, in order for this to work, I have to upload. I have to upload it to a specific place um, with an HTTPS. How to embed blab in example embed example. Okay, so I'll have this ready in just a second or so here. I'm gonna say okay and go back to this album and I'm going to copy this image URL and I'm gonna go back to this blab and I'm gonna paste it in here. Now, if you'll click on this image, this is that this when you schedule a blab. And then you, after you schedule the blab, and then you go back to your profile, you'll see a link there that says scheduled blabs. And when you click on the schedule, when you click on those, it'll bring up the blabs that you've got scheduled. And this image is what you'll see. And below it, you'll see a thing that says embed this blab. And it's got the iframe code, the iframe code stuff right there. So that's where you get the code from. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think my brain was going in the wrong direction when you started speaking because I thought you were speaking about a past blab, but this is when you're scheduling a future blab and this is the embed mm -hmm. code for a future blab. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're going to, if you're going to embed one, like right now. Okay. That's a question you have, right? Yeah. If you're going to embed one right yeah. now. Well, well, okay. I can tell you how to do that. Well, but I guess I misunderstood that this is the primary um, deal for me because I thought this was going to be really big where I can put one code in once and whenever I go live in the future, that code alone will take care whenever I host a blab. That's no. not what's going on here. Okay. No, no, I, I don't, I don't think I, the, I, there is a way to do that. If you understand RSS feed, you'd be able to create one similar to that. Um, but um, but, okay, th but, no, but that is helpful. Thank you. I, I just wanted to say real quick yeah. that just discovered your channel this morning and you had a flurry of guests and your, your information from the two of you, all of it really helpful. So thank you very much. Well, thanks too, man. If, and, I, and I could tell, I followed you. I can tell that you, you know what I'm talking about with the RSS feeds. That's the only way that I know how to be able to do okay. that. Okay. 
Is if you use that embed code, you use an R and, and embed an RSS feed in there. All right. Well, thank you very much, and uh, I'll be sure to follow back. I got to run because I got to go to work. But thanks, guys. Thanks, right, Mark. Bye. Uh, I think this is uh, Blab doesn't do that yet. That's right. I think that's what Kate Ta Collins is talking about too. Um, and then there's one other thing about the Blabs. If you're going to change them, it's actually not that hard. And when you get that embed code up at the top, there's going to be like um, of your Blab. All you have to do is change. All you have to do in, inside the embed code is change the HTTPS, and you don't have to change anything else. You just go to your your tab and, and change that code. I believe. Five, five that, minutes, Dan. Okay. Has anybody else got any questions? I see Monica Ramos TV just embedded mine on my Facebook page. Very cool. Uh, if anyone wants to see real quick, I'll only be testing it for a few minutes. Um, I'm going to take a look at it real quick. Has anybody got anything, other questions or anything like that? Because I've already been told that, and they're right, whenever I get into this kind of mode where I'm trying to do, there's nothing very entertaining about, about you know, we like to be entertaining as well. There's nothing this interesting. Is, this is Stan. It just wants me this to, is yeah. Stan's forte and what he loves. His passion is this technical stuff, and and he yeah. goes through it and can explain it and do everything. And that's what's neat about the circadians. That uh, you know, a, a guy like me that doesn't understand that, I can get information and I can go back and watch a video and I can learn how to do some of it. And then I still have to say help. <laughs> let's see a couple of things in here like the playlist yeah um you said my name in the title how to use and host a blab I blabus we, we uh, go, no bla yeah. yeah blabus that's yeah no blabus interrupt us um how do i get both host pictures in the blab intro you want to you want to address that because you you said something to me about that. how do you get what she the sumner woman said question but she, if you put the the Slash on front of the queue, that'll show up as a question, Sumner. But when scheduling a Blab, how do I get both host pictures in the Blab intro? You remember you were telling me about that they made an announcement or something like that? No, I think what I was talking about is, um, I don't know if this has anything to do with what she's asking, but from what I understand on from Saturday is that if somebody subscribes to a Blab, like if I would subscribe to, to the, the Blab that Stan scheduled, he can make me a co-host before the blab starts and uh, he would have to do it. And then if something would happen, all I could, I would be able to start the blab if he couldn't show up. Uh, we have another way of doing that. Um, but uh, that's my understanding. I haven't tried it yet. Stan and I haven't tried it yet. So I'm not sure if that works or not. Yeah, I'm going to experiment with that because I want to know the answer to that tomorrow. Yeah, because that's a good, that's really good if it does work. It saves a lot of time. But there are, I guess, the, how do I make someone a co host? I want to make, I want to do my first lab on Wednesday. What you do is you roll over their name uh, when they join. When you roll over their name and, and click, it's going to bring up an image. There's, then that image will have an H in it. And, and all you do is click on that H and that H will, uh, will make them a, a co-host. And what he's talking about is that if somebody like, if you've got a scheduled host, if I've got a schedule, if I've got a scheduled blab and Ron goes over and joins or subscribes to that blab, because there's a subscribe button there. If he subscribes to that blab, then I can roll over his name while it's in the actual film strip or in the uh, comment stream. And it'll bring up that same box where I could make him a co-host from right there without actually having started the blab. And again, those things are, you know, the, the thing is that we, we, again, we cover a lot of this stuff in the, um, in the, in the nine o'clock, we, we call them clinics is what we call them. They're 25. Ken, I'm going to give you 30 thing. seconds. If you stay on top, it's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of pressure on, I'll, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they put it on me. Welcome to the club. Well, it was just a very quick tip. There were a couple of comments about the, uh, the loss of the uh, question filter. What you can do is if you press F3 on Chrome, that gives you an on-page search. So if you press F3 and then type questions, that will cycle you through all the questions um, on that page. And it's also a shortcut way of going to contributions from one particular person. So if you, you press F3 and then type somebody's name, uh, you get two little arrows that will cycle through all the contributions from that person. Or if you keep pressing F3, that will take you through 
the same. So it's a, as I say, it's a quick way of getting through questions um, that have been uh, been posted. Do you want to try that? See how you get on. Um, I, I use that. That's a good point. I just never thought about using F three. I use Q, uh, Control F. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, does the same thing. The way. I mean, the advantage yeah. of the F three is just you can keep your finger on the same button and just keep tapping through. It's not mm -hmm. ideal. It's not as good as the questions filter, but it's it's another way mm -hmm. of. Uh, of, of f sort of filtering out the uh, the questions from the contributions. It's an excellent it's an tip. Excellent tip. Excellent excellent tip. Tip. Thank you. Excellent tip. Yeah, really, really is because that that I you know we get asked about that. I can't wait for them to bring it back. It's a lot easier, you know, to just look at that question stream over there. But now you don't you don't sound like you're from Alabama. I'm not from Alabama. I'm from the UK. Oh, from the UK, yeah, that's yeah. So you don't even you don't even understand what Southeastern Conference football is about. I don't. You probably don't understand about Premier League football, though, do you? <laughs> uh, you're talking about rugby and all that no, stuff. That's, is that what that's, it's about? what you call soccer. What we call football. The original. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do have soccer here. What I uh, what I remember about those things is that we you know is that there was a uh, and then we we're going to have to go after this is that when I lived in. Um, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, many, many years ago, there was a bar there that that had a big rock in it. And if you could lift that rock, they would give you a free beer, right? So I was I was a young guy, right? And I, I mean, I, I was pretty strong. So I lifted that rock. It was, I mean, it was, you can't even, you can't even see how big it was. It was this huge rock, right? And so I lifted enough until, until um, finally I dropped it. And it landed on my toe, right? And it's one of those things where immediately, no matter how much alcohol you might have consumed, you immediately become sober. Right? It was like, bam, man. Okay. So I had I had to cut my. I was wearing cowboy boots back then, so I had to I had to go home and cut my cowboy boots off, right? And my my foot was just squashed. I drove by there a couple of days later, and the window in the front of it, which was about nine feet up in the air was smashed out. And I asked the guys that we were, that we went to lunch with, I said, what happened there? And they said, other rugby players and threw it through the window. <laughs> you know, So it was like, Oh, so I'm not quite that strong then. Cause those guys, it, it was does. actually, they were just, yeah, yeah, they were, they were huge, huge guys. But uh, anyway, hard to get away from it. So anyway, that was, um, that was my rugby story. Good. You know, I, I, yeah, I, and uh, UK. I've been there once, and I flew back on the. Um, Concord. Oh right, that was a while ago. Then because Concord's uh, been out of commission for a little while. Yep, yep. It was like when it was first first started. Got in a lot of trouble for it because it was on a company's money. But you know that was long ago, and I don't remember it anymore. You'll have to come. Back. So it's about time. You'll have you to what? come back. Yes, I'd love to. I'd love to. So. Um, do I need to send? Do I need to tell you where to send a ticket? <laughs> you can try. I, I, I was waiting for that line, Ken. I knew it was coming. I, I was going to yeah. spell it out, but I figured now I I know Stan's going to mention it. Thanks for yeah, stopping yeah. by, Ken. Appreciate okay, it. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. And we're going to close it out now. And I'm going to tell you that, you know, you can, if you send an email to, to uh, you matter at the circadians, it'll get to us. Or if you send one to stand at the circadians, it will get to us. And we would love to tell you about what we're doing over there and about our nine o'clock uh, clinic and, and how that works, how to find your nine o'clock lab with instructions on how to embed. You, 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 you can't, you, you're going to have to send an email to us. Those are actually, those are actually HOAs. They're not labs and they are private. And so you'll have to send it to us and, and we'll talk to you then. So, yes, it's a clinic. That's what we call them. Clinics. And I've forgotten. And we don't work on, we don't just work on those. We work on literally anything that somebody asks about. We, our, our thing is that if you imagine this, if you go, went to college and said, this is what I want to learn today. And the, and the professor said, good. That's how we were tomorrow. I will, um, I will post the link for brick and mortar rescue. We didn't have time to talk to, about it today. We'll get it tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow for brick and mortar rescue. We'll go over that link also. Peace, love, and